Hey guys, it's me again. I just wanted to make an update video since it's been a while since I posted anything. I just want to give you guys an over overview of what I have going on and everything is working, but I did go through a few changes. One thing you will notice on the car is I have a different motor. I actually got some other motors. This was one of them, and I had uh, another one by low C, but these guys blow up so fast that couldn't really do anything with them. So what I have going on here is I have two batteries, which, as you've seen before, are these guys. And those motors that I showed you earlier, these guys will run just fine when you just do one battery. But that's not enough for me, so I wanted to run two or possibly three. So we'll see how that goes. The motor I have in there now is from a 24 volt drill. So with these two batteries, it runs and it's not as fast as that other motor with one battery. But once I get three batteries on there, or if I get a 18 volt motor, then it'll run a lot better. But that's what I have on there for now, and it doesn't blow up, so it runs all good. Um, I've also replaced electronics, considering I've blown up the ones I had before. Right now I just have a bunch of FETs in parallel, and I have the relays for direction. And the reason I did this is because it cost me $20 in parts, and I could run up to like five or six of these batteries in series at around 300 amps so that's why I did it this way instead of buying an ESC which will cost me like two hundred dollars for not that much power so that's what's going on there. and that's just the fan I have it off right now but these fats don't really get hot so it's not an issue so that's pretty much just an overview same as before I have my Arduino Pro Mini my XP radio I have my monitor for the battery voltages and then uh, two connectors. That's pretty much the car. It all runs the same as before. Nothing new, nothing old. I do have these LEDs to show the speed and direction. I also have a brake, which I didn't have before now. So I have forward, reverse, and brake. <laughs> brake comes in very useful. You can hear the relays clicking when you hit the brake which just puts a short on the motor. So that's pretty much the car. It runs fine. Still need to do some tweaks, either get a lower voltage motor or actually put that third battery on there. Let me put that away. Show you guys my little uh, control line, if you will. These are just two 9 volts in parallel, so it lasts longer because this actually so it drains the batteries quite fast. On the bottom here, I have uh, Arduino Mega 2560. I did use an Uno on here before, but the reason I used the Mega is because it has more than one serial port, so I could get data to the XB and also data to my computer at the same time, which is pretty difficult on an Uno. And actually, show you on my Uno, what I had to do was make a modification down here with this little jumper, which disconnects the USB to serial from their Arduino, so I could use it with an XB. So I had to do that to that. That's like the Mega More now, so it has more memory so you could have bigger files which does become an issue when you load several libraries in the middle I have a USB host shield a different uh, Bluetooth dongle because my last one actually stopped working I think it blew up or something so I'm not sure what happened there I'll have to get it that one replaced my little XB adapter board the XB's and one thing I did notice with these is these have about the same range as the Bluetooth from the controller to that, so I'm gonna have to get some more powerful XBs. They're really not, I'm really not impressed with them. Hundred dollars for really short range, so those will have to be replaced. One thing you might be able to see is I have an LCD shield on here too, and the data it displays is each cell's voltage, so 3.9, 3.9, and the 160 is the temperature. It doesn't really correspond to Fahrenheit or Celsius. I do have the math somewhere on my computer, but I didn't program it in there yet, and I don't really need to. I just want to keep an eye on it, so when the motor gets too hot, I know to stop running it. Again, the other two cells, so I have all four cells being monitored, and then if it's safe to run or unsafe. Right now, this doesn't really do anything, but if the voltages get below 3.3 volts, then it'll change to unsafe. This is just for debugging applications and to keep an eye on it, so I could run it for a second, and you can see the battery's voltages fluctuate a little bit. The reason I have that on there is because these batteries are very dangerous. If you load them for too long, if you take their voltage too low, you could permanently damage them. 
or they can just spontaneously combust. So that's why I have the monitor on there to make sure that the batteries don't blow up on me or I don't damage them in any way. So that's pretty much the little remote island. My PS3 controller, the car on the floor, and I still can use an Xbox controller with it if I wanted to. It's just that this is what I have here now, so this works. And for those who have seen my other videos, one second here. Oops. Oops. <laughs> of my little car, I have some lights underneath, and I'm thinking about doing the same thing to this one, is cover all four sides with these red, green, blue, blue LED strips. So when I run it at night, it should look really fancy with underglow. So I could do a lot of this stuff considering an Arduino is running it. So I just want to give you guys an update. I don't have any more videos of running it, but once I either add this third battery or get a different motor, which won't blow up on the two cells because I do want more power, then I'll bring you guys a new video. Just one last thing I want to say is I did look at some brushless motors and I did find a really amazing brushless motor, but it's been back ordered for months and months and months. So that's probably not going to be an option, so I'm going to have to look at some other motor options. But brushless will be the way to go. It's just that these are cheap, and if they blow up, it's easy to, easy to deal with. And the speed controller doesn't cost several hundred dollars, so just want to give you guys an update. See you next time. See my car steering. All right.